Hello, people of the YouTube. All right, so um, it's the weekend, so I uh, don't have to work today. So it's like, um, well, it's a pretty good opportunity to get a video up, and I decided to do a underused battle again. <laughs> I like underused apparently now, and um, yeah, I'm playing against Goddess Maria, a friend of mine from YouTube as well. I'll leave the link to her channel in the description. Check her out; she's a pretty awesome YouTuber. Anyway, so I just go for the U-turn because I kind of figure she's going to go out into this Togekiss and expect the um, earthquake, and it's a pretty nice move for me because she does do that, and I'm just going to go out into my Thor, which is my uh, Zapdos, to scare it away. Um, she's not going to stay in against Zapdos because I have, obviously, Thunderbolt, and that's what I'm going to go for. I thought, actually, it was obvious. I thought it was too obvious for her to go into this Electivire, but um, she goes into it right off the bat, which is a pretty good play. It's a bad play for me. I really shouldn't have done it. Um, I shouldn't have been that risky this early, but at the same time, I mean, I wanted to either go Thunderbolt or Thunder Wave. Either way, this thing gets a Motor Drive boost, and that sucks. So I just go for a Heat Wave now to see what, you know, kind of scout what her she's trying to do. She has the Ice Punch, so I kind of think this is one of those physical motor drive ones. So I just go out into my King Tut, because my King Tut is like a wall or something, and I think I can like live an Ice Punch pretty nicely and live whatever she goes for next, and then just go for a Will-O-Wisp, just to cripple it. I mean, even if it is a Mixed Vire, which is the other possibility, um, you know, a Will-O-Wisp will hurt it a lot, um, and will keep it from doing damage to a lot of things, you know, Zapdos in particular. Um, but anyway, so I just get off the burn. He goes for a th She goes for a Thunder Punch, so I don't think it's mixed. I think it's just physical, which is great for me. And, um, yeah, now she goes into her, um, Togekiss, which is a pretty nice move. I just go for a Calm Mind, and, um, yeah, that's kind of whatever. Um, I do want to switch here, though, because I don't want this thing to, like, paralyze me with T-Wave and then, like, hacks me to death with, um, Air Slash. So I decided to go out into Thor, because I can also T-Wave her back with Thor. And she's gonna go for a Flamethrower, which is a pretty nice move. Um and it nearly kills me. I go for a Roost here, expecting to actually outspeed, but she outspeeds me. Um, she said that this was a max speed, timid um, t Togekiss with Wise Glasses, which raises special attacks. So that's a really awesome set for her. Anyway, so I go into Heracross, and I'm like, why am I going to Heracross? Because, um, I, I mean, I do have a Stone Edge on my uh, Choice Scarf Heracross, but at the same time, I don't really want to risk not killing or missing and losing Heracross. So that was kind of fail for me. I decided to switch correct my mistake, just switch out into Registeel. I know she's probably going to go for the Air Slash, which is not going to do a whole lot to me anyway. Um, but she does have Flamethrower, which ends up doing less than half due to this thing being a beast special wall. Um, this thing is, my shield is uh, specially bulky, um, and I get off a T-Wave, which is really going to help against this thing because now it can't outspeed crap, although before it was pretty darn fast and just annoying. Anyway, so... Um, there's not a whole lot for me to do except for now to set up the Stealth Rocks. That's what I do. I set up the Stealth Rocks, and that's cool. Um, stealth Rocks actually hurts our team a lot. She has, I think, like three Pokemon weak to it, so that's pretty nice. Um, I'm just going to get some damage before I die because Shield is pretty useless at this point, being burned, and it only has, like, a few HP left. So there's no really point to keep it around. Decided to get the damage with um, Seismic Toss, and um, now I go out into Quack uh, to skip to a try to actually kill the uh, Togekiss with Ice Punch, but she predicts it pretty nicely. Goes out into her um, Lapras, and that's just not fun. So at this point, I don't think Lapras's sets really have anything to hurt Quack. So I'm like, okay, I think I can set this thing like you know, uh, just you know, set up on this guy. So I just go for a Dragon Dance. And then she has Thunder, and I'm like, what? This is some crazy set. Um, I guess it is, because I've never seen Thunder in a Lapras, you know, except for maybe in-game, but still, that's was unexpected. I do live it, which is awesome, so I was like, okay, I'm just going to get some damage with Earthquake on the Lapras, um, just because it might as well get something rather than nothing. And sh this is actually a great... Um, happenstance for me. She's predicting probably Brick Break, but I don't have Brick Break. I have Earthquake, so that's going to obviously take down the Gardevoir, so at least I'm able to take out the Gardevoir, and that's pretty cool. So now she goes out into Registeel, and um, her own Registeel. I go out into Heracross actually predicting Registeel, so it was a good prediction for me. Pat on the back. Um, and now I'm hoping that I'm able to KO. This is a Choice Scarf Heracross Adamant, though, uh, but it lives a close combat, which is just holy crap. Registeel just lives, basically. I mean, just my Registeel lived two freaking flamethrowers, and this Registeel lived a stab close combat. That means this, this one, hers is probably uh, physically bulky, probably, if I had to guess. Um, but still, wow, Registeel is like a beast wall, and she's able to set up the Stealth Rocks of her own, which is late, but, you know, better late than never. Um, so now she's here, she makes a mistake. I don't know what she was really thinking. I expected her to go out into just Victini, but she ends up foddering her um, 
Togekiss here. I don't know if she, like, forgot that she was, um, paralyzed and didn't think I was scarfed or something. I don't really understand why she went into it there. Um, I mean, I asked her, she said she just wasn't thinking, so I guess she just wasn't, you know, expect. She didn't remember she was par I have to believe she didn't remember she was paralyzed there. Um, in any event, now she goes into Victini and goes for the sunny day on my Switch. I just go into King Tut, kind of scout what she's going to do so I can get a safe switch into um, Flygon. And kind of because I do have Shadow Ball, so if I do end up living, I can hit it with Shadow Ball. But I don't, because Searing Shot in the sun is a pretty powerful uh, attack. So, yeah, that's about what happens. I go out into Flygon, and now that she does not have... Um, that uh, annoying, uh, what's it called? The annoying Togekiss. I know I can just go for an Earthquake. So that was a major misplay on her part near the end there because now Earthquake is going to hit pretty much her entire team. She goes into Electivire. I mean, obviously I outspeed this because uh, I'm this Pokemon is Scarfed as well. I have two Scarfers on this team. It worked out for me here. Um, and I kind of like having two Scarfers on the uh, same team sometimes. But anyway, now she goes into Lapras. It's probably going to survive an Earthquake, but then I can just Revenge Kill with my Choice Scarf Heracross. So that is a very good game, um, Goddess Maria. You did make a misplay there at the end, but, you know, we all make misplays. I made some misplays in this video, too, I'm sure. Um, she actually got a really early lead because I, she was just outplaying me in the beginning. So um, that was a uh, fun match. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, and so now I'm just going to Heracross and just going for a close combat, which is super effective. She can outspeed me, and that is a freaking dead Lapras. Okay, so that was a fun match, and today's question of the day is going to have to do with um, the new YouTube layouts that uh, YouTube forced on everyone, or um, I think it was yesterday, or maybe the day before. But either way, these new YouTube layouts, I don't like them. I can't find anything. Um, call me old school, I hate change. I hated when, you know, they switched from the really old channels to, you know, uh, the, you know, last channel. I mean, I, I don't, didn't like, particularly like the last channel, but this design is even worse. Um, where do I see comments? I mean, in order to see comments on your channel, the only way I found out to do it is you have to go into your feed and then click on comments. And I liked it before when I could just look at the comments because, I don't know. <sighs> I'm, maybe I'm just ranting. Uh, maybe I'm just uh, nostalgic or something, but I, YouTube is just getting worse and worse. I mean, I did kind of make my channel as good as I could make it. Um, I still got to keep my background and my banner, so maybe it's not all bad, but still, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, leave a comment about that, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys whenever I decide to post a video next. All right, peace out, homies. Bye.